Welcome to Unlock Layouts. So today we are going to see the topic of why polysilicon is used as a gate contact instead of metal in CMOS. So let's start the video. So in earlier days of the semiconductor industry, the metal is used for a gate contact is usually aluminium. So after few some days or few some after some uh, updates, so they started using polysilicon. They give a, they gave a preference to polysilicon as a gate material. So the reason behind that is the main two reason is that. So first one is the fabrication related problems. So due to the fabrication related problems while doing manufacturing or while fabricating the gate material, the mask of the gate material is misaligned. So due to some problem. So because of this it creates lot of parasitic capacitance in gate and drain terminal and as well as gate and source terminal. So capacitance of gate and drain and capacitance of gate and source. So this parasitic capacitance is very harmful to the device because this two parasitic capacitance only depends on the transition switching speed which means on and off time is basically depends on capacitance of gate and drain and capacitance of gate and source. So we need to reduce the CGD and as well as CGS. So that is the reason they are going for a polysilicon. So here in this video I have applied some uh, images. So here due to the misalignment of mask problem. So usually if there is any misalignment the second figure see the gate terminal and the drain terminal should be exactly laid down to the starting point and as well as the ending point. But due to the misalignment problem here some of the alignments may differ. So some channels will be come beneath the gate oxide here also drain channel little it was just tilt side or left left side to beneath to the gate terminal. So because of this here we will get gate to the source capacitance and gate to the drain capacitance. So due to these capacitance the switching speed of the transistor it may vary vary in the sense it may be speed of up to 10 to 20 percentage or else it may reduce the speed of 10 to 20 percentage. But we need to resolve this problem if we are using aluminium then compulsory this problem will happen. So that is the main reason they are going for a gate as a polysilicon and one more thing self aligned gate process is the best method to avoid the CGS problem and CGD problem. So how self alignment gate process is working with polysilicon. So in so here the process starts with creation of the gate region followed by the certain criteria during the manufacturing process of source and drain terminal by using ion implantation. So ion implantation is used to do self aligned gate process. So the thin gate oxide under the gate act as a mask for the doping process preventing further doping under the gate region which means the channel. So this process make the gate self aligned with respect to the source and drain as the result of all of these the source and drain do not exceed under the gate area. So therefore we are reducing the gate of the source and drain sorry capacitance of the gate and drain and as well as capacitance of the gate to the source capacitance. So on one more what is the main reason we are going for a polysilicon is after entire doping process is completed so we need to do annealing process. So what is mean by annealing? So after doing what is it? after implanting the doping the what is it? the atom structure will be in unstable condition because we are adding some impurities while doing the doping process. So however if we are adding some impurities the impurities will go and affect the coal and bond atoms. So all atoms will be in the unstable condition. So before manufacturing the devices or before manufacturing any before doing the process we need to stabilize or else we need to neutralize all the atoms present in a one metal or any any material which manufactured or which is doped. So after doping all the atoms will be in unstable condition while doing annealing process only the all the unstable atoms will be converted to the stable conditioner atoms. So annealing process usually it will take 8 100 degree centigrade. If suppose we are used aluminium material it would have melt such a temperature because of the 
melting point of the aluminium is approximately 660 degrees centigrade but annealing process need minimum voltage of 800 degrees centigrade so compulsory if you are using gate as aluminium compulsory it would have melt and it would have spread over the source and drain area so the entire chip will be totally damaged so this is the main second problem we are going for a polysilicon as a gate and suppose if polysilicon is used as a gate material it would not melt such a self alignment process and as well as the annealing process because polysilicon having the higher heat capacity heat carrying capacity or heat heat sensing capacity and one more thing undoped polysilicon having very high resistivity approximately per unit square it have 108 ohms per centimeter square so undoped polysilicons we can't use because uh, already we are going for the higher nodes sorry lower nodes so higher nodes it's okay it's not a problem 90 nanometer 180 nanometer it's not a problem but whenever we are handling some lower nodes such as 25 nanometer 14 10 7 5 nanometers and all so polysilicon generally it's having high resistivity by adding the doping concentrate so doping in the sense adding some impurities right so by adding the doping concentrate so we can able to change the resistivity of the polysilicon instead of 108 centimeter per unit square by adding doping we can able to increase the centimeter square resistivity area or else we can decrease the resistivity area so this is the main reason we are going for polysilicon and then already as i said now so nowadays we are handling very lower technology nodes 10 nanometer 7 nanometer even ibms nowadays they are manufacturing 5 nanometer transistors and all so above 90 nanometers 180 nanometers the threshold voltage of the each and every mosfet in the ranging of 3 to 5 voltage so it's okay but nowadays shrinking the technology it is also not only shrinking the channel size it is also shrinking the threshold voltage of the mosfet so we are operating all the mosfet within the minimum voltage minimum voltage in sense around 1 volt so 0 0.5 volt 0 0.3 volt is also sufficient in such a technologies because we are nowadays we are handling 5 nanometers 3 nanometers and all going under research progress right so gate capacitance voltage is almost reduced but we can't if suppose we are using aluminium or any metal so by adding doping these are all behave like a only conductor not a semiconductor so polysilicon as a semiconductor so semiconductor by adding the doping concentrate so we can improve the conductivity of the material or else we can decrease the conductivity of the material so based upon our desired operation so we can go for a higher doping or lower doping with polysilicon by adding doping concentrate if you had higher number of doping with polysilicon obviously the vt will be very low because if you add higher number of doping the conductivity will be improved very much and then instead of turning on the vt with a 3 volt or 5 volt the transistor would turn on at around 0 0.7 volt or 1 volt only the transistor will get turned on so this is the primary reasons why we are going for a polysilicon as a gate material so i hope you like this video if you have any doubts or something else if you have any related to my video please contact us to my email id please follow us on my facebook page if you like the video please click the like button if you want to subscribe my channel kindly i am requesting all of them you to subscribe my channel and please share the videos to your friends so that they can also know why we are using polysilicon as a gate material Thank you.